Now, this uh, Tuesday, it is uh, t this Tuesday in Burkina Faso, more than 80 people go on trial before a military court over the failed 2015 coup in what is believed to be a test for the judiciary of Burkina Faso. They include uh, two top generals accused of masterminding the plot, uh, Generals uh, Gibril Basole and uh, Gilbert Diendere, who are key allies of former President uh, Blaise uh, Compaore, chased from power in October 2014. They are accused of involvement in a coup launched uh, the following year by Kampaori's old uh, presidential guard against the transitional government that took power after the veterans leader, veteran leader's fall. After one week, the partiest elements, the RSP presidential guard, surrendered power to the transitional government. They signed a peace agreement with the government troops and returned to their barracks. Now, at least 10 demonstrators were killed and dozens more wounded in a week. Many political personalities who were in the majority under the compassionate regime will also be judged, including Jibril Basso, former foreign minister, suspected of treason and collusion with the foreign power, Côte d'Ivoire. Jugé et surtout uh, Djibril Bassolet, comme vous l'avez uh, mentionné tout à l'heure, Jerry, l'ancien ministre uh, des Affaires étrangères, soupçonné de trahison et de collusion avec une puissance étrangère, en l'occurrence la Côte d'Ivoire. Sans plus attendre, nous allons parler avec nos correspondants en Ouagadougou, Salou Brema. Salou Brema, bonjour, c'est une journée bonjour. chargée qui vous attend. C'est un jour de travail pour vous dans la capitale de Burkina Faso. Le trial des généraux Djibril Didier et Djibril Bassolet, le premier de brain de failed a court detail of September, and their court defendants begin today. What is the atmosphere in the capital of Burkina Faso this morning? It's a marathon trial starting this morning. The trial fire is very heavy. It has 15,000 pages. Judge Sayud, uh, who is going to conduct the proceedings of this trial, has had to withdraw to the town of Kadogu to study it calmly. Now, 92 people will be tried there, including eight in absentia. Among them is Fatou Dinjir, the wife of General uh, Dinjir. Even though the trial was long awaited and fueled the debates, <coughs> the atmosphere in uh, Ouagadougou was more not was not overly tense. For the first time, uh, the courtroom will be full, but we, we won't get to the heart of the matter. Journalists, victims, and supporters will follow the prosecution in a case that involved 15 assaults and dozens of wounded people. So the Chamber of the Military Court has relocated the trial to the Bakwe Hall of Oga 2000, an elite district of the south uh, of Ouagadougou. Do we know why? This is the first time in Burkina Faso's history that a trial has been held in a place that hosts the worldly celebrations of uh, the Bakken capital. But the military justice has indeed decided that Bakwe Hall of uh, Oga 2000 will be the scene of the outcome of this trial. And there are many reasons for this relocation. The most obvious is the capacity and amenities offered by this room, a thousand seats and air conditioning instead of the small courtroom of the military justice. Now, Waga 2000, as you said, is not the center of uh, Waga Dugu. The choice of this place can be related to security concerns. The Pash trial is much awaited and unleashes many passions. So, uh, the conditions for a fair trial in place and why are the risks if they are found guilty? The military courts and Burkina political authorities have always claimed that the defendants will benefit from a fair and equitable trial. But the defendants doubt it. Politician Haman Ayamego, who is also indicted in this case, has accused the military court of being under the orders of the government. Now, General Didier wished him the best of luck in his appearance as a witness to the personalities like Michael Kofando, the president during the transition, the leaders of the Bokan uh, army and Mogo Naba Bango, the king of uh, Wagadugu, 
Will these personalities come to the stand of the manifestation of the truth? So far, we don't know. The details of the facts alleged against the various defendants are not known in detail, but there is no mention of murder, assault, incitement to commit terror attacks, attack on state security and treason against General Dindi, charges which, if they are recognized, impose a death penalty, even if this supreme sentence has not been applied in Burkina Faso uh, for nearly a full Thank you, Saluka, for speaking to us. Um, we appreciate that Saluka, correspondent for African News in Ouagadougou. Saluka Bourema, qui est donc le correspondant d'African News au Burkina Faso.